Rajya Sabha Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar is going to be meeting floor leaders in his chamber at 1 p.m. today today to decide on the Manipur debate. To get us more on this, we're crossing back over to our senior editor Pallavi Ghosh. Pallavi, over to you. So over the last few days, we have been watching that how the chairperson of the house has been actually meeting up uh, with representatives of different political parties. Whether it's been the Congress president Jai Ram Ramesh, Derek O'Brien, DMK leaders, only in an attempt to break that deadlock between both the sides. The point which is being raised by the vice president repeatedly is that there is a decorum which needs to be maintained. We are ready to listen to you. We, uh, it's the ruling of uh, the chair really which decides under which rule the discussion needs. To to take place and that he cannot ask the prime minister to come and sit inside the rajya sabha that's the prerogative really of the government this is the kind of peace which is being attempted to being brokered but obviously it's just a one way process with the opposition leaders refusing to listen to the olive branch which is being extended both by the government and by the chairperson for those who are just tuning in as well would you be able to explain what's been taking place in parliament when it comes to the manipur issue since the session began on the 20th Well, in Rajya Sabha, as we know, there's a demand coming in from the opposition parties of two, six, seven. As far as the Lok Sabha goes, in Lok Sabha, there is a no confidence motion which is going to be taken up on eighth. It's going to end on tenth with the Prime Minister's response. I think more than what you're talking about the Manipur issue, important to highlight the two other big bills which are going to come up today: the mm -hmm. Delhi bill, certainly the Delhi Ordinance bill, which is going to be taken up for passage by the Lok Sabha. That has also seen a semblance of divide within the opposition, with parties like the BJD, the YSR, all of them decided to vote along with the government. and that is a blow to the attempts by the india front opposition parties to dragai and get more and more parties on their side they've also been labeled as b team of the bjp that's one second this is certainly going to be a blow for the aam aadmi party because it truncates the power of the delhi chief minister third the to on the positive side i think in a long long time and in a first really aap and congress party are on the same page only because of the delhi ordinance bill absolutely pal we do stay with us because there's some more breaking news coming in This is a statement that's come in from Piyush Goyal saying and I quote I can assure that this government from day 1 has been keen to debate on it we stand with the people of Manipur uh request the floor leaders to join for us for a cup of tea to figure out how to resolve and move ahead uh we're crossing back over to CNN News 18 senior editor after we listen into the, this bite I will request my senior colleagues from different parties to Uh, join me for a cup of tea, and we'll have a discussion, and we'll sit and work out how the house will work, how we can make sure the house runs in an orderly fashion. There are very important bills before the house today. We have three bills listed, each one of which is important, and we would like to ensure the participation Honorable of all me. members. Well, when it comes to the floor, uh, to the meeting that we're going to be seeing with the floor leaders and the RS chairman at one, is it possible that we can see the opposition not take part in that meeting? If you could just repeat your question once again, please, Anisha. Absolutely. Is it possible that the meeting that we're going to be seeing at one p.m. today between the floor leaders and the RS chairman, is it possible that the opposition will not be taking part in this meeting? Well, I mean, tough for me to really. Well, tough for me to really predict that because so far no boycott call has been given by the India Front opposition parties, and they have been meeting the chairperson. In fact, they used the parliament proceedings to make the point that you know the rule three two six seven needs to be given priority over rule one seven six. They are not agreeing with the chairperson's argument that that both the notices were given on the same day. They say that a majority of the sense of the house is that there are more notices in favour of two six seven. I think they may want to seize that opportunity in. that meeting that they take place with the chairperson uh so far no word yet on whether they're going to be boycotting i think even yesterday we saw pictures of them meeting up with mr piyush goel and in the present of the chairperson as well but there was one meeting which took place as far as the lok sabha goes where the opposition parties had actually boycotted both the business advisory council meeting which decides on the agenda for the lok sabha for the week plus a meeting which was called by the speaker Absolutely Pallavi thank you so much for joining us and bringing us all of those details